Hello folks, welcome back to Lifeless Planet. And on the last episode, we made it to some sort of weird alien structure and almost caught up with the lady again. <laughs> and it finally turned back to daytime at the end of the last episode, so let's continue. Didn't even catch what the name of this particular chapter was. But, uh, see where it takes us. Alright, so, she just disappeared, <laughs> that was fast, alright. She saved me, but for what purpose? Ah, you got me, man. Got uh, there's gotta be something at the end of the tunnel sooner or later though. Some answers. <laughs> I do not recognize the changing world around us anymore. It seems darker, dreary, and hatefully responsive to our presence. My son Kolya ran to me last week, claiming he saw a boy in the forest who tried to lure him in deeper, then smacked him in the face with a branch. The gash on his face is proof. While this could be a story to hide his embarrassment, Kolya swears to me that the boy looked, looked exactly like him and I'm inclined to believe him. I do not know if we created these monstrosities or merely awoke them. But I do know we are no longer welcome in this place. Yeah. Sudden weather change again. Alright, into the fog then. Stay on the trail. You know, oh, I thought that was her. It's not. It's one of these critter things. I'm just grateful that for the most, or so far, rather, they do not jump out and chase me or something. Those creatures are taking her shape. The root creatures appear to be capable of assembling into various forms. They've caught on that I am following the woman and they are taking her shape to lure me into their traps. Or is she controlling them, communicating in some way I can't understand? I'd never believe any of this if I weren't experiencing it myself. But then my belief is of little value. I still don't understand what's going on. And yeah, you and me both. Void, void, void. Huh. Well, that's not ominous at all. Dead forest, alright. Cool. At least we'll be out of the barren uh, wasteland. I mean, it still kind of looks barren, but hey. Wow, this must have been a spectacular forest. More confirmation that this planet was once rich with life. I've come across what remains of a huge forest. As our scout probes of it had indicated, this world was once a place of diverse life, stable ecosystems. Pretty damn cool looking, say that. Change of scenery is good. Rather than just traveling across the moonscape we've seen for the most part so far. Um, should I go around? Kind of looks like I have to. Oh, I see have we here? Should I carry one of these up to the tree? Let clear the path or something? <laughs> no. Um, has been something back here I missed then. Don't see a device to put this into. What, what was the point of me coming up here? Do I maybe drop it? No. 
know. Well, what the... Shall we... Nope. That was definitely not the answer. Uh, it's still there. I get the feeling we need one of these for something, but what the heck do I need it for? There's a path here, alright. Uh, okay. Oh. I'm detecting some unusual readings in these samples, but I still believe coal is the proper identification for this mineral. As coal is derived from our plant matter back on Earth, I have to conclude these samples were formed from the remains of the root-like creatures on this planet. However, there's something odd with this specimen. I still can't get a precise handle on what kind of life form we're dealing with here. So they clearly expected me to go back here. Why am I carrying this rock around, though? This is also not the way. I thought I was maybe breaking out of the bounds or something, but... Nope. Try a different direction, I guess. I mean, the last time I had one of these green rocks, I put it into a power device, but... I could get through here, but this dang thing is there. Can I jump over it? Pick this back up. This is... This looks like the way, but... I mean, there's a plant here. Nope, I can't. These things might have no significance to what I need to be doing, but I figure I should probably take one with me. Just got up on this. Okay, now I'm stuck. Well, shit. Uh, okay. I seem to have broken the game. Great. Great, great, great. And I don't have the rock anymore. Well, let's hope I didn't just totally screw myself over. Okay. I don't think that was legit, but I did make it past. <laughs> All right. Guess that'll work. Maybe those rocks were for nothing, huh? Um, am I going up? Looks like I'm supposed to. I see. Pretty spooky. These must have been the portal creators. Are these the porno creators? They appear to be sentient beings, but they look similar to the root creatures in form. Whatever they are, they clearly didn't survive. What are you talking about? What? Are you talking about the trees? What do you mean? I don't see anything. Hmm. Okay then. Oh, you want me to go across? Okay. Okay, we saved. Um... What the hell is that noise? Be careful where we tread here. the hell that is. Noise. Okay, that's different. Another save. Not that much to say, just, you know, Following the trail, watching the scenery. It's not exactly easy to give fresh commentary on this game because there's not a lot happening. Just, just going through the motions. 
Um, can I go the right way? That goes down. What did I miss? Oh, I see. Oh dear. Gee, wonder what we're supposed to do here. Oh, thing was coming alive there. Whoops. Guess I shouldn't linger on there too long. Okay, we gotta be kind of quick. These things are gonna eat me, I'm pretty sure. Damn it! Right. Okay, halfway, so. Oh crap, oh. <laughs> Almost missed that, I was trying to be quick. There we go. That's what I was hearing. Those things are alive. What was that? Okay. <laughs> Just randomly different. Are we like getting into like an arctic area of the planet? It kind of looks like glacial or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Going up into the mountains, are we? to tell, I think. Uh, am I even on the right track here? I don't think I am. Maybe we need to go around? Here we go. Get stuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. Okay. Just guessing going up is the way to go. And it was right. Alright, okay. What in the hell am I looking at? The portal. Oh dear. All right. Cool. Here comes the music. What's this over here? On the right. Let me just go up here a little further first. Let's see what this is. This looks maybe man made, fenced off. And what that says, something zone, maybe? Huh. Doesn't appear to be a way in. Oh, wait. Could go under. We should probably investigate this first. It might just send me back. Okay, wait a minute. Bridge across. Doesn't appear to be a way up there. Probably have to go through that fenced off area to get up there. Don't see anything else anywhere. It's kind of barren. Alright. Well, 
Well, let's go for it, I guess. Why not? Lots of plants. green things is in the oh this plant's gonna grab my that do it somewhere else. I don't get it. Okay. Wait, just need to pick it up. I would have thought it goes in there, but maybe not. Aha. Alright. Now we gotta go back. There may be something up beyond it. It kind of doesn't look like I can get out of here. So, all right, let's go back. I mean, we're at the portal. We've got to be getting close to something here. All right, the power line goes inside. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that Stargate looks like it's seen better days. A few notes in here. Yeah, I can see it's broken. Great. There go my hopes for getting off the planet. <laughs> Why didn't he just say, do you speak English? Anyways. Hopefully we can make it to that oxygen supply module. I've discovered the portal the Russians used to travel between Earth and this planet, but the device is inoperable. It seems there was some kind of massive failure, so I won't be able to return to use the portal to return to Earth. I'm also running low on oxygen, but I believe there's another supply module several, several kilometers north of here. The woman is leading me in that general direction, so with any luck I can make it there and change my oxygen, but then what? First things first, I guess. Yeah. Several kilometers, huh? I would have thought the portal would be more substantial here, but... Alright. For years, we depended on the portal system to develop our colony on this planet. It never occurred to us that one day it would cease to function. As the native plants died and life receded from view, the hope that we would never return to our families... The hope that we would ever return to our families in Russia faded, too. It didn't happen all at once, of course. The portal faded from its former glory, glory, pardon me, slowly over time. The more we developed this world for our creature comforts, the more desolate the environment became. Eventually, the portal began to mimic the world around us, and then it fought back. At first, there were simple accidents in the transportation process of our supplies. We assumed it was a fluke. After all, we were dealing with technology that we had only just discovered, so this was a rational conclusion at the time. Our theories were rendered inconsequen inconsequential though, god I can't talk today, when a group of colonists suffered the same fate. The shadows of their former selves, the gore-stained arrival platform, was a horror that we could not put out of our minds. Moscow sent nothing more, and we were too afraid to face fate and test our luck. We're now trapped here on a dying world, a grave mistake of our own making. She's still there, do you want me to go on up? Yeah, oh, I just noticed all the blood. I thought there was rust until I read that note. Hmm. I need to move that platform. Okay, we got dynamite. Get up. Move what platform? What are you talking about? Where, what am I doing with this? 
don't quite understand where they want me to put it. Here? I think there's a few of them. And she's gone. What a surprise. Alright. So, the next objective is to get to oxygen. Alright, back to the barren moonscape, I guess. But that seems like the appropriate place to stop right there. So, uh, yeah, we will carry on next time. I've been, I've been thinking we're about to end the game for the last few episodes now, and it just keeps going. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.